I think we are now at a crossroad in our relationship with technology. Every human being has to cope with new technologies and we all feel it and we also feel the opportunity and the friction. There's this crossroad and we can go into a dream or a nightmare. So yeah, let me first discuss the nightmare. The nightmare would be that technology basically parasites on our humanity and that uh, maybe new beautiful technological species emerge or some kind of new technosphere world but it's basically parasiting on our humanity and uh, an easy example would be in the medical domain that if uh, pharmaceutical companies for profit they want to grow and they so everyone needs to have some kind of sickness uh, so that we can sell you the medicine and, uh, and then you pay for the medicine, which you maybe don't really need, but there's this whole programming and domestication of humanities go uh, humans going on to, to be in that model, uh, not as a goal, but basically as a product, as a, as, 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 as a resource. And then technology parasites on our humanity. That's a clear nightmare sc scenario that, I, that might happen, is partly already happening and we need to avoid. Then the dream. Uh, the dream is, I think, that technology uh, uh, supports our humanity and maybe even enlarges or uplifts our humanity so that, uh, that we can live with these novel technologies that extend our senses rather than numb our senses, that resonate with our intuition rather than uh, ignoring our intuition, uh, that, that feel natural rather than estranging, that, that also bring equality between humans rather than put people apart. And there, I think there are also beautiful opportunities with technologies. Uh, because we should also not be naive about what technology already brought us over the course of human history. Uh, uh, we have most, well, we have better food, we live longer, we're healthier, that there, there's a lot of benefits um, and this also makes me positive towards the future. That yes, there are important issues that we need to solve, but I believe things can go get better if we push into the, in the, into the dream scenario. change and there we have to make decisions on what direction do we want to go and do we want to go together and I am really uh, I think the most important thing is to, to go together so for instance some uh, new medical technologies they allow us to for instance live longer or maybe even uh, like a f well 150 years or even longer beyond what is normal today but if they are only available for the happy few that can afford them, then to me that's not desirable because then you get this, well, maybe even different species of the haves who, who can live forever and, uh, and rule over the have-nots. Uh, and you will see that then the rich people, they, they get it. And uh, the, uh, a world in which the, the, the Berlusconi's, the Donald Trump's and the Rupert, Rupert Murdoch's live forever and they kind of uh, make all the decisions for all the rest of humanity, to me, that doesn't feel like a desirable future. Uh, so to go together is important and that's why we also need to have the conversation together because if you talk about changes in humanity, yeah, what is humanity? It's such a vague concept and in a way we, with seven and a half billion people on the planet, we together define what humanity is through our behavior. So we all should be part of that conversation. We should also not be naive in this relationship with um, yeah, some of the systems that grew around us. Think of, for instance, the health insurance system. Uh, yeah, you have a health insurance, such a beautiful idea that if we, we are stick together and if one of us gets sick, we all pay a little to, to make that person uh, better, even if it's expensive. Um, but yeah, then if the health insurance company has these dynamics of its own of profit and basically 
inventing sickness and uh, then also making people pay, but then we have to grow and uh, fast enough. So when you're really sick, then we don't do anything for you. That's an example of basically technological systems parasiting on our humanity. And we have to aware, be aware of that risk. And I think once we become aware of it, we can also change it. So we are now in this transition.